On September 14, 1977, in what was later deemed to be the most talked about moment in Price is Right history, a contestant named Yolanda Bowlesley came on down, as did her tube top. Yolanda was completely unaware of her spectacular wardrobe malfunction, even turning around and cheering towards the hilariously shocked audience before being alerted by Susan in contestants' row that she needed to make some adjustments. The camera operator noticed the issue and immediately started tilting up towards the crowd upon Yolanda's arrival. Of course, if you saw this on TV, the broadcast version was censored with a big blue rectangle, nice and bright to draw your attention towards the situation. Clearly, the crowd was in hysterics laughing at the incident throughout the entire opening sequence of the show. Bob comes out and either plays dumb about what has happened or he really has no idea. Either way, he seems surprised about the boisterous audience reaction. Johnny Olsen earns his keep as Man of the Hour by explaining to Bob that they gave their all for him. Bob then proceeds to make the whole thing about Bob, first talking about hepatitis shots given by producers that basically silenced the boisterous audience to crickets, then he goes on to say that he should always have an entrance like that every day. In fact, it's business as usual for the first game. After the first commercial break, Bob quickly tells the audience, Welcome to the Yolanda Hour. And that pretty much puts a bird on the whole thing. Yolanda never got out of contestants' row. The Yolanda incident is easily one of my most requested topics, with many people upset that I left the incident off of my top 10 most ridiculous moments on the Price is Right list. However, I don't necessarily believe that the incident was ridiculous, as much as it just was a funny mishap. Moreover, there really is nothing I can add that hasn't already been said. There isn't any new spin or opinion I can throw on it other than, oh, it happened. Having said that, the incident is still pretty funny even 43 years later. And I hope whatever Yolanda is doing today, she's taking her 15 minutes of fame in good stride.